Devin Haney, Terrence Crawford. Who has the better argument for pound for pound number one? What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, a lot is being said about pound for pound number one. Devin Haney's father, Bill Haney, is trying to make the case for why Devin Haney should be placed atop the pound for pound list. But the Terrence Crawford fans feel like he did enough versus Earl Spence to be crowned pound for pound number one. I just want to give my 777 nickel on what's being said for anybody listening. I hate pound for pound. I hate it because everybody has an argument. Everybody definitely has an argument. Inouye has an argument. Canelo has an argument. Bud has an argument. Haney has an argument. Everybody everybody got their points. And it sound good, but it's hard to be like number one. It's hard to, because what Bud did was amazing. We ain't gonna lie. What Haney did, amazing. What, what Inouye did, amazing. I mean, so it's like, mm, I ain't gonna lie, man. Bud was against all odds. He was against all odds. Nobody had Bud beat Nobody. Even the people that were saying it, they really ain't believe it. All right, y'all. So who should be the pound for pound number one in the sport of boxing? You know, to me, I think that that's a hard list to make, you know, because there's a lot of things you can base it off of. You can base it off of who's selling the most pay-per-views. A lot of people base it off that. You can base it off of who's the most popular fighter. A lot of people base it off that. You know, and then you have the people that base it off of how much have you accomplished in the sport within one year. And I think that that's pretty much most of the people who voice their opinion, they're, they're voicing it off that. You know, I think the people that ride with a specific fighter they'll base it off what that a fighter has accomplished in pay-per-view numbers or how popular that fighter is. But I think the people who really want to make a case for pound for pound, they're basing it off of the accomplishments that you've had within a specific boxing year. First question, who's the biggest, toughest guy in this house? I believe I hold the distinction of... <laughs> my house now bitch so if you look at the past year 2023 in boxing which one of these guys have done more terence crawford fought once in 2023 fought earl spence jr for undisputed but i think people feel like his undisputed status it reigns supreme over what devin haney did at 130 135 because terence crawford's done it twice absolutely in two different weight divisions and nobody's ever united all those titles at 147. So I think a lot of people feel like what Terrence Crawford did was supersede anything that Devin Haney has done because he hasn't been undisputed twice. So if you're going to put anybody at the top of the pound for pound list, it would have to be Terrence Crawford. And then you have the guys that look at Devin Haney and say, well, not only did he become undisputed at 130 135 but he did it i think in less fights than terence crawford did and he moved up to 140 and conquered another title by beating uh another formidable opponent regis pro gray you know one of the top guys of the day at 140 so a lot of people would say well he did it in quicker fashion than terence crawford and he went up and he beat another champion in another division so he deserves at least a nod at the pound for pound list uh -huh. Uh -huh. but i think that there are asterisks with both of those guys i think there's an asterisk with terence crawford because of the weight draining of earl spence and earl spence not being at his best so people are going to say well you can't necessarily give it to terence crawford because he didn't beat the best version of Earl Spence Jr. Do y'all believe now? And then you're gonna have people who say, well, Devin Haney actually lost to Vasil Lomachenko, but he got the nod in that fight for whatever reason, and he shouldn't be pound for pound number one because 
you took an L to Vasil Lomachenko, so you actually should be running it back with Vasil before you make any type of statement about being number one pound for pound. So, you know, I think both of those guys come with an asterisk, but if you had to pick out of those two, who would you give it to? I mean, obviously you would have to give it to Terrence Crawford because becoming undisputed in two different weight classes is something Devin Haney hasn't done yet. Even though Terrence Crawford did beat a weight-drained Earl Spence, you still have to give him the nod because of what he was able to accomplish, something that nobody else has ever done in the sport. So, of course, you're going to give the nod to Terrence Crawford on that one. Well, fuck you then, punk! But, once again, both of those guys have an asterisk next to their name when it comes to, you know, a couple of their last victories. The Vasilo Machenko victory was actually a loss, and the Earl Spence victory, you got to take it with a grain of salt because of the shape that Earl Spence was actually in. Now, there's going to be another uh, group of people who say, well, you're kind of forgetting about Anoye. Or uh, in your way, <laughs> how do you pronounce his name? And I, I get it wrong a lot, but you know it is what it is. I think anyway actually has a better argument for being pound for pound number one because there are no asterisks next to his name when it comes to any fight that he's had. He's won them all, uh, and I believe he's undisputed now. I don't think he's done it at two different weight classes. But he is undisputed, and he's beaten everybody without a shadow of a doubt. Nobody can say that he didn't win any of those fights. So if anybody deserves to be P for P, it would be Anoye, actually, and not Terrence Crawford or Devin Haney. So <laughs> I think there's an argument to be made. And you could actually throw a couple other names in there, but those other names haven't been undisputed. You know, you might even want to throw Canelo in there. Because Canelo has been undisputed uh, over the past, I believe, year. So, you know, a lot of names could be tossed in there. But if you had to give it to one person right now, I would say it's actually between Anoye and Terrence Crawford. But I would actually crown Anoye because of the whole Earl Spence situation. Just my opinion. You ever been to a school and they taught you how to pay taxes or have money? Or Hard taught home. you how to pass a law. These are logical things that should be taught. And also, the curriculum that is implemented today is a curriculum that was made by Thomas Jefferson. And this is facts. Um, and that was for a white man to know how to tell a black man what to do. And for a black man to know how to listen to a white man. And we still have that curriculum today. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. Did the like button for me. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the tube. So holler at me over there. If you want to collab or feature a product or your channel on my channel, feel free to hit my Gmail because it is a flack of cards at Gmail. I pull up in a throwback car, gray 7 8 with the top that's hard. I'm finna paint it back, send it on black tars. Fuck a backseat to get its own backyard. Niggas act hard, try to pull their Mac card. Stunt in front of their dame, they playing back far. Cause they get their ass kicked in front of their chick. But the niggas that they was with dip ain't got a bitch. Young keys flow under the weather. Come through something real big under the leather. Uh, little mama, get your mind out the gutter. I'm talking about that nine, motherfucker. I grind like a hustler, CDs, tapes, the weed, whatever the case may be. I chase that cheese and never ever face your feet. Yeah. 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 Now watch yeah. how I chase your yeah. feet. Uh, Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Niggas know what's Niggas up. Know what's sick up. flow, sick beats, spin up, blow what's up. Thick hoes, thick freaks, spin up, blow what's up. Hit drove, hit sweets, niggas know what's up. Can't hold me down. Niggas know what's up. My dick is down. Niggas know what's up. Can't hold me down. Niggas know what's up. My dick is down. Niggas know what's up. I pull up with a throwback dime She say she's 25, she at least 29 But main them hips on her, lips on her Finna let it rip on her, flip on her, then dip on her This 
is for them classy chicks Them undercover nasty chicks Them trashy chicks I ain't scared to flash me quick Oh, look at that ass, she thick I can't let you pass me, miss Off the chain Young keys spitting hot flows off the brain Holla at me when you're ready to get off the lanes And on some real shit I'm the one you deal with, feel me? Run game like Diddy in the marathon Get shitty, drop 50 on the marijuana Either give me four ducks or pearl swans Young keys, S and I dine uh, uh, Niggas know what's niggas up know what's Sick up. flow, sick beats, finna blow what's finna up Thick coats, thick freaks, finna blow what's uh, up Hit drum, uh, hit sweets, uh, niggas know what's uh, up Can't uh, hold me down Niggas know what's up My dick is down Niggas know what's up Can't hold me down Niggas know what's up Yeah, dick is down Money, money, get money, money is my slogan sure. I cop what you guys is boasting My game worldwide like oceans like Getting at these chicks, I leave they brain wide open Whenever I'm in motion I put the pedal to the flow and I'm coasting Don't be them niggas that I eye shit up Side shit up Cause I'm in them brand new J's And I tie shit up Around her, we can tuck you fry shit up House, car, I keep an ounce in the jar Next to the drink on top of the bar It's the S to the R Who's fucking with us? I turn your stomach to a bucket of guts for really don't Can't mess with no silly hoe And I don't give a fuck if she looking like a broad off a video They got to have it Knowing that my money stretched like elastic But they ain't getting jack shit uh, Niggas know what's niggas up what's Sick up. flow, sick beats, finna blow what's up Thick hoes, thick freaks, finna blow what's up Hit drunk, hit sweets, niggas know what's up Can't hold me down Niggas know what's up My dick is down Niggas know what's up Niggas know what's up. Uh, niggas know what's up.